Hey everyone, it's Strange Michael. I hope you're doing well today. I have a review here for a film I watched on Shudder called The Lair. I saw the poster as you saw in the, thum in the thumbnail. Fuck, I can't talk today. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of a, a creature feature type of thing. I was looking for something like that, but I also kept seeing people list this as like an action movie, an action horror movie. And it kind of is that. Now after I've seen it, it is that. It's a 2022 film. I don't know anybody involved, but the main chick in this film, Charlotte Kirk, is beautiful. Beautiful. Reminds me a lot of younger Scarlett Johansson from like Iron Man 2. Um, she would be great if they wanted to bring Black Widow back or something, if she could totally pull this off. Um, anyway, I think she could be good. She actually co-wrote the film, which was surprising with the director. Uh, this is kind of a low-budget movie, kind of. But it doesn't always feel like that. Sometimes it does, sometimes it's very obvious, sometimes it's not. A lot of the case when it's obvious is because of the acting. <laughs> I want to start off with the plot before I get to that, but let me tell you, the writing ain't smart on this film. This film is a big, dumb, if we call it an action film, a lot of the time modern day action films are basically big and dumb. That's what this shit is. It is not scary. It's a creature feature, goofy ass movie with a man in a monster costume, and that rocks, and I like that kind of thing a lot of the time. Uh, not so much in modern day stuff. It depends on what we're talking about. But if you like the likes of, like, if you like the likes of, like, Wow. Uh, if you like things like Pumpkinhead or Alien, where you have a guy in a costume, this is kind of reminiscent of that, but way less intelligent than both of those. Uh, it is kind of a slasher film at the same time of being a creature feature. Essentially, this is more of a military-themed one. We have a chick who's in the Air Force. Her plane crashes, so does her, partner, her partner's plane when they get shot out of the sky by what I assume is the Taliban uh, or something like that. Uh, some kind of terrorist group type of thing. And, uh, they go on a panic run, and she basically runs away into this big metal door out in the desert. And it leads her down to this metal cavern. It looks like a science lab type of thing. And while she's down there, she gets into a shootout, firefight, whatever you want to call it, with these terrorist guys that come after her down in this dark, spooky place. Why the hell would you go down there as a military group or anything? Super stupid. Super stupid. Which is basically the phrase I want to use to explain the film. Uh, after a bunch of illogical, stupid shit happens left and right throughout the entire hour and a half runtime of this movie, uh, when they're in the midst of the firefight, <laughs> in the first, like, ten minutes of the film, some of the guys are shooting their guns towards these big tanks that have, like, they look like humanoid type of creatures inside of them. We don't really see them until one of them actually shoots at the thing, the glass breaks. This body of some kind of demon, human, alien, knockoff-looking thing comes out, laying on the ground, eventually it wakes up, some other ones wake up, and eventually there's kind of an invasion situation between these monstrosities and the humans trying to defend themselves. You actually have two military groups that come to rescue this young lady at one point, after they they ran her over, basically. One is a British group, one is an American group, and they have one particular captive in this Middle Eastern area that they hold on to. Now, the military versus creature feature thing, we've seen this over and over again. To me, in a small scale way like this film is set, not like Battle Los Angeles or anything like that, I really enjoyed this for what it was, but it's not a good movie. It's not really anything I'd recommend to most people, unless you're into kind of gory creature features. I will give this film, the special effects, uh, the practical effects, the gore, all of that stuff look really good. They're really well done. Not always great because of the acting, but typically they look really good on their own. I do have to compliment it for that. I admire that. I admire when a lower budget film can have that. But sacrificing those things for good acting would have been a good choice, in my opinion. But it is a monster movie, so who fucking cares? Who, who honestly, watching this channel right now, at my 380 or whatever it is subscribers, how many of you have actually even heard of this film? Not seen it, heard of it. Not many of you. So if you're into creature features, I would recommend this to you, but I doubt most of you have seen this movie, or even heard of it, as I said. The creature itself looks pretty cool, it's kind of just a, it looks like Nemesis, I think it's, is it Nemesis? It kind of looks like Nemesis from Resident Evil, but uh, it also looks like the liquors, or whatever they're called with the, with the tongues, it actually has that ability as well. It looks like that, but it's a dude in a costume, and I love that kind of thing. I wish we had a resurgence of that kind of thing that were in this kind of film. This film feels like a 1990s horror movie. If you like that kind of thing, this is for you. If you like movies like Virus from Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Sutherland, this film would be for you, I think. Uh, which is probably why I enjoy it so much, because I love Virus a whole lot. Virus is a better film overall, but this is up to that kind of view, that feeling, that, uh, that nature, that budget, that kind of thing. It's very much like that, very similar. 
Now, the acting. I, I, I talked about this a couple of times off and on. The writing is fucking horrible in this movie. They are trying their best to manage one location for the shooting. Like, not one room or anything like that, like a Saw movie, but, like, one location. As in, they're trying to limit that as much as possible. And that's kind of smart. I appreciate that to an extent. If they made a Lair 2, I would be cool with watching that as well because of the, the kind of choices they made like that for this movie. But the acting... Oh my god. <laughs> Charlotte Kirk, again, she is beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. But the direction is not strong. The acting from pretty much everybody except for Charlotte Kirk are pretty rough, frankly. Some guys, they're trying. But others, dude, specifically two guys that are supposed to be Southerners. Uh, they're supposed to have Southern accents. I'm fairly certain one of them is either Australian or British. Uh, he is the major of the team. He has an eye patch. His Southern accent... It hurts. It hurts so bad. Even if you're not a, a southern person like myself, I live in Virginia. I'm, I'm like mid-south, I guess. Um, if you're somebody like my boy uh, Franchise Horror Reviews who lives in North Carolina, I would love to see his response to this shit. Because <laughs> the accent, the southern accent for this is truly awful. Like truly in a way that like, I was in pain. <laughs> I was actually in pain as I listened to this man talk a lot in this film. Uh, <laughs> and they, he, he just gets worse. Every scene the, the poor guy's in, I'm not blaming the actor for this, it's the accent. It's the acceptance to let that man use that southern accent. Maybe he's the only person they had access to, I don't know, but that's horrible, dude. Anybody from the South would tell you that is the most over-exaggerated accent I've ever heard in my life. And I've, I've went to Tennessee for like three years in a row now, since my honeymoon, on vacations and stuff. And I'm telling you, I've never heard a deep southern accent like that, except for people who are faking it. I'm telling you, that is the case. In this case, of course, he's faking it. It's not the most exciting movie ever, but I have to be honest with you, about 45 or so minutes into it, I kind of got sucked in just a little bit, because it was so brainless, it was so stupid. There's so much dumb shit constantly happening in this film, and so many choices that as a military group, two military groups actually, there are so many choices made in this, that I am like, you guys would be reprimanded for making the dumbass choices you decided to do here, here, and here. Constantly people are accidentally committing suicide, that kind of thing. That's a kind of a spoiler, but kind of not. I won't tell you who. But there's constantly stupid shit like that happening in this film. And to me it's hilarious for kind of a low-budget film, the kind of effects they have. <laughs> but it, it, it's not it's not a strong watch. Just go into it knowing that if you're going to watch The Lair... Please understand what you're getting into. This is a big, dumb action horror movie. Creature feature is the word to use because of how kind of corny and cheesy that phrase, that uh, that label is. That is what this film deserves because it's like that, for sure. Uh, everything else is kind of forgettable, the music and all of that. If I had to rate the lair on a five-star basis, uh, I would give it like a two out of five stars. It's definitely underneath average, but it has... Some really cool things about it. Again, the practical effects stuff, when it's used, I like it. There is some CGI that's shitty, obviously. But there's not a whole ton of it from off the top of my head. There is one in particular involving a, a missile that made me laugh so hard last night when I watched this movie. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe, frankly. Anyway, have you seen The Lair? What do you think about it? Put your thoughts and comments down below, folks. I would love to hear what you all have to say about this shit fest. Uh, like I said, I recommend it to the right people, but for me overall, with the quality of it, it's a 2 out of 5. It, it's not a strong flick at all. Not really anything I'd recommend to, like, friends of mine that don't like creature features or anything like that. I wouldn't be like, hey, this is like, uh, you know, the, the Relic, where you should watch this about a museum and a monster. That's a way better film than this, for example. Anyway, have you seen it? What do you think? Would you want a layer 2? I kind of, in one aspect of my brain, want a layer 2, and I want Charlotte Kirk to come back. Uh, she is beautiful, dude. How she has not been in more things is surprising to me. I think that she could be really good. Uh, but anyway, thank you all for watching. God bless you guys. <laughs> Have a good one, and goodbye.